I need a haircut so bad, it's not even funny. We're living the bun life today. But hello, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel if you're one of my bagel babes. My name is Kelsey, I'm the blogger behind the lifestyle blog, Blondes and Bagels, check it out. Today we're gonna talk about Everlane, which is one of my favorite brands of all time. If you follow me on Instagram or you follow the blog, I have crazy, crazy amounts of content about Everlane. I'm really passionate about the brand. They have never paid me to talk about them. I have received received gifted products from them in the past because I promote them so hard. Um, so I am on their PR list. I'm notified about new product launches, but my love of the brand runs so organically deep for one specific reason. Okay, two specific reasons. One, I love that all of the actual design is very capsule wardrobe style, very capsule wardrobe dressing, mix and match, can kind of transition from day to evening. I don't know, it's, it's very easy to wear and I'm not somebody that really likes trends. I don't like colors, I don't like waste. So for me, I enjoy having a wardrobe now. I've spent years building my capsule wardrobe, pretty much all with Everlane products, but I've loved having that style of wardrobe because it makes getting dressed in the morning so easy. And I know that in two months, three months, six months, a year, five years, like this stuff isn't gonna go out of style. A white sweater will not go out of style. So I love them for that reason. And then secondly, I appreciate the transparency that they do give. I don't think Everlane is the most perfect company. No company is, and I'm sure there are ways that we could get more transparent in the future, but I like that I do know where the item is made. I like that I like that they try to offset the carbon footprint where they can. They try to use recycled materials. I think that this is a very like, we're trying to do better kind of company, so that's why I respect it. Anyway, I digress. I've babbled a lot, but what I wanted to do today was actually focus on one specific category of Everlane, and that would be their shoe category. I have a video, um, I think I have a couple videos actually of like hauls and things like that where I do talk through some of the sizing of clothes, but with shoes, I don't see a ton of content out there specifically about Everlane shoes, how they fit, how they feel, the pricing, overall, like, are they worth it? All that good stuff. So that's what we're gonna do today. I have one, two, three. I have six different shoes we're gonna take a look at today. I technically own a seventh pair. We'll get into it. So if you wanna learn all about Everlane shoes, how they fit, all the good stuff, keep on watching. This is real. lied to you. I have like seven or eight shoes. I just remembered I forgot one in my closet. Okay, we're going to start off by talking about sneakers and I wanted to start with this specific shoe because it literally launched this week. It's brand brand new. It's called the Court Sneaker. That's what they look like. I'm just going to hold up one for ease of reference, but like I said, this is the Court Sneaker. It's 98 bucks. Just launched. There are seven colors available of this bad boy. This one is the Cloud Gray. I'll put links to everything down below, by the way, and I'll also note down below if something was something I bought myself or if it was sent in PR because I spend a lot of personal money at Everlane, um, but I'm also on the PR list. So just all that will be down below for you. So this sneaker is available in half sizes. It does fit true to size. So for me, I'm a six and a half. I, I got a six and a half. Fits like an absolute glove, fits perfectly. The upper is a leather upper and then the sole is actually rubber. It is free, I think 94.2% free of virgin plastic. So we've got a lot of recycled materials happening in the sole. And then it's actually 100% carbon offset in partnership with, I think they partner with Native Energy? Yes, Native Energy. So that's who they partner with in order to do carbon offsetting. So really the purpose behind this sneaker, I think for Everlane was that this is a an endeavor into a better for you sneaker. Sneakers are some of the most horrible, totally horrible creations um, in terms of like for the planet. So they're just not really made with sustainable materials. They're usually like plastic and rubber that are all single use, they're not recycled. So Everlane is really trying to take a an item that traditionally is horrible for the environment and make it somewhat better. So this is the second sneaker by them that I have had. I wanted to bring up the trainer as well. You can see I've like, it's kind of gross. Also $98. And honestly, I looked into the differences between the two because I've had the trainer for a while. Like I said, this one launched this week, so it's very new. I haven't had a lot of time with it. But in all honesty and looking at like the materials and everything, they're very, very similar with the material materials in terms of a leather upper, a recycled sole, all of that good stuff. So really I think this comes down to style in terms of which one you'd want to go with. As you can see the sole on the court sneaker is a little bit thinner. This is like a thinner more chic shoe versus the trainer is very athletic looking. Like this definitely looks very I'm um, working out, very athletic in nature. Even 
even though it's like suede. So I think it's just a style choice which one you want to go with. To be honest, I'm really excited about the court shoe. The, my only complaint with the trainer was the fact that it wasn't as tailored looking and for me, if I want to wear it to work, I do kind of need to have a more tailored streamlined look. So two great sneaker options from Everlane for you. Okay, I'm really excited to move on to boots because I have been obsessed with the white Western boot. So I have had these boots since the fall. I'll insert a picture on Instagram here. I did a blog post about capsule wardrobe dressing with Everlane in the fall. This was like a highlight of that post. I am obsessed with these. I wore these to the courthouse when we went and got our marriage license. Like I brought them on my bachelorette. Like I am just so addicted to these boots. The love runs deep. For me, I love them because they are sort of like a, it's Americana. I grew up in a pretty small town, like 90,000 people or less, not the smallest, but definitely a NorCal small town vibe. And for me, it's like, I look at these and they remind me of home. Like they just make me think about like small town Americana. I get to pair them with my jeans and my sweater like this. And I just, I feel like I get that little bit of Western edge without fully committing to a cowboy boot. So I'm obsessed with the style of these. Just to go into the details of it, these are $215. They have a leather upper and a leather stacked heel. They do have this insert right here that kind of break up the white. So it's almost like a Chelsea boot style, as you can see. There are three colors available right now. So the white, and then I literally just got my hands on the black pair because I've been so addicted to these. They're my favorite boot of all time. So I have the black, I have the white, and then the other color, boy, let me drop that. The other color that's available is like a suede brown, which like I have my eye on it. I definitely have my eye on it. I want it. Everlane, if you're listening. I need it. I need it in my life. These do have a more narrow fit, as you can see. They are on the more narrow side, but they mostly fit true to size. So these are, you're six and a half, right? Yes, six and a half. So I did go true to size with these. Despite them being a little bit narrow, they fit fine. And the heel is just a little bit above two inches, like 2.17 inches or something like that. So a totally manageable heel. I don't know what else to say about these. I love them. I'm not a heels person. I'm not a boots person, really. I'm definitely a sneaker person and I'm I am just so obsessed with these. They're very manageable, super, super comfortable. The only thing that maybe starts to get a little bit painful at the end of the day is like this part, maybe would be like this part right across here, just because it is a little bit narrow. So by the end of the day, I'm, I'm running a little hot. My feet are swollen, uh, but otherwise they're so comfortable. They're so chic. What more can I say? All right, we're gonna move on to flats now. I wanna be very transparent. I do not own the day glove. I don't, I don't own that. And that's probably what they're most known for is their most popular flat. I don't own that. I don't love like a traditional flat just because for me, they don't they don't flatter my leg that well. And I, I just, I would rather wear a sneaker at that point. What I do love is I love loafers. I love a good loafer and Everlane has amazing, amazing loafers. So I started with the modern loafer. I still have that. It's somewhere around the house. I don't know where it is. It just recently went on sale. They actually said that they're discontinuing it. So right now I think it's like $90 maybe. I'm sure I paid like close to 200. So if that's still available, I will link it down below. I just don't want to feature it too heavily because it is being discontinued, but I did order that true to size. I paid for that myself. It took a hot minute to break in, but it was comfortable afterwards. Really chic shoe. And then the other loafer I have, um, but is also on sale. So they are also discontinuing it is it's this bad boy. What are you called? It's the modern loafer mule. So it's essentially the same shoe as the modern loafer, except like with no back. It's a mule version. This is available on choose what you pay right now. So if you do go to buy it, I think like you have the option of getting it as low as $109. So it is on sale. There are plenty of sizes left right now. Again, I'll leave all those links down below available in half sizes. My one jam, order this a half size up. I didn't read the fine print. I didn't read that it sizes, it runs a little small. And so I ordered true to size and my feet are like hanging off the back of it. So I kind of have to make a, a call here because it is final sale. So I can't return them. I can still wear them. It doesn't look like weird, but part of me is like, maybe I just should give these to my mom because she's a size six instead of a six and a half. We'll see. Anyway, again, don't want to spend too much time on those because those are being discontinued. But the main loafer I want to spend a good chunk of time talking about is actually the day loafer. And the reason I want to talk about it is because if you watched one of my earlier Everlane videos, I showed this loafer in a tan color and talked about it. And I didn't exactly give it the most glowing review. In fact, I ended up returning it. And it was for two specific reasons. One, I had sized true to 
size at a six and a half and they just felt really snug and they also made my feet look really tiny which in turn made my butt and hips look really wide and I just wasn't loving the perf I just wasn't loving the proportions of it so I ended up sending it back um, also I wasn't loving that brown color I think just because I do wear so much black there was something about that mixing that wasn't looking so great but when I heard that Everlane was launching this in this new colorway for winter so this color is literally brand new it's called cashew I was like yes sign me up but give me a size 7 so I recommend sizing up a half size in these guys just to give yourself a little bit more wiggle room they fit great I've been wearing them the last like few days no problem at all I haven't had any blisters or anything like that they're so so comfortable they're $155 there's nine colors right now I'm sure because this color is brand new they're going to be shifting in and out of colors so you'll probably have more color options soon if you don't see one that you're digging maybe they'll even do seasonal colors who's to say and it's a hundred percent Italian leather I just love it I love being able to have these it's sort of like it's sort of like less branded Gucci loafers I don't know what to say I'm not big on the Gucci loafers I think they're kind of overpriced for what they are especially when you can get a hundred percent Italian leather loafer for 155 bucks just saying all right and lastly to talk about heels the shoe I get the most questions about especially since my engagement photo this was oh my god we got engaged November 2018 and it was like the red day heel was the highlight of the whole outfit I didn't even plan it that way obviously but it just ended up popping and just looking so like romantic and holiday -y. I don't know it was very cute so it's the day heel as you can see from my engagement photos I do have it in a red suede that pair I actually got on Poshmark secondhand it was like worn one time versus these ones I bought completely new I think this one's called blush or something like that again I'll put the colors of everything down below with links for you guys as of today's date there are eight colors available of the day heel a few in this traditional leather and then I think like a few of them were in suede so you do have an option of two different materials did I say they were $145 $145 I know for a fact the colors are being constantly updated with seasonal colors so for example you can't get my red suede ones right now but potentially during the holiday season they could come back there are half sizes available I did purchase this true to size yes six and a half I did purchase these true to size they do take a minute to break in but honestly it's not that bad it's not painful the block heel is two inches so it's really really manageable and the upper here is 100% leather so it does over time give a little bit it relaxes it's very comfortable I'm not a big heels person and really for being heels I really enjoy them honestly they're they're about as comfortable as I can handle for a heel they're very casual I would say I wouldn't like wear these to a fancy party or anything but for a nice casual like running around heel or I literally just was about to say the name as a day heel <laughs> it's the perfect heel so really enjoy those can't recommend them enough all right that's it you guys that's all the shoes I have if you want to see reviews on any specific Everlane items please let me know happy to get my hands on them and review them for you test them out tell you how they wear in real life definitely definitely head to the blog to see all the posts I have on there because that's where you can really see more in-depth reviews see how I've styled it and then again like I said I'll leave all the links down below they are all affiliate links I do have that disclaimer down there it doesn't cost you any more but it does help me out if you choose to buy any of these items shopping my links support your small creators <laughs> really appreciate it you guys give this video a thumbs up subscribe to my channel join the fam and I will see you guys in the next one bye guys